In this video, we are going to discuss about interfacing servo with Arduino. For that, I used a simulation software called Tinkercad. And in order to design a new circuit, we should click on circuits and select create new circuit option. Upon doing so, a blank workspace is opened along with conference list. And now we have to search for Arduino and drag it onto the workspace. After that, we have to search for servo and this is the servo and it is dragged onto the workspace now let's come to the connections the ground terminal of servo should be connected to the ground port of arduino so i'm giving the wiring to one of the ground ports of arduino the wire is indicated with green color now i'm giving the power terminal of servo to 5 voltage of Arduino there it is connected let's change the color to red in order to avoid the confusion between ground wire and power wire now the signal terminal of servo is given to one of the output pins that is pin number 7 of Arduino let's change the color to blue so blue wire indicates the signal wire Servo works on the PWM principle, which is nothing but pulse width modulation, which means that its angle of rotation is controlled by the duration of pulse applied to its control pin. This way, we can control the motion of servo shaft. In order to program our Arduino with code, we have to click on code option and then select text button. Upon doing so, we need to click on continue and replace the default code with our own code. Servo.h is the library for the servo and the servo is named as my servo. Position is the angle of the rotation shaft of the servo. As you can see pin number 7 in the circuit diagram it is mentioned over here with a command called attach. And coming to the loops, first loop is from position 0 to a maximum of 180 and the second loop is from 180 to a minimum of 0. With and as you can see the delay is mentioned as 15 milliseconds so with each 15 milliseconds the position changes from 0 to 180 so i started the simulation and as you can see the rotation started so from 0 to 180 with a delay of 3 seconds it went back from 180 to 0 so these loops keep on going Yo. let's change the delay time to let's say 45 so upon doing so, we can observe the changes from positions. Now it started from 0, 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 135 degrees and finally a maximum of 180. So by changing the delay time, we can control the motion of the servo. This is PWM principle and we can also increase the delay time between the two loops. So here between the first loop and second loop it is given as 3 seconds. We can also change that. Thank you for watching this video.